Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey. Even my wife is shocked that I'm out of bed this early because I don't want to be, but I got to be. So I'm actually on my way to Discount Tire. I didn't even get all the way into the Forerunner, and they had already called me, and they said that they've got a bay that has my name on it and that when I get there, just pull in, and they will get me out of there in 30 minutes. Now, I still need to go in there and dick around with paying and all that kind of stuff, which I have a feeling I'm just going to be like, just freaking I paid for it just do it and uh, we'll see what happens but I'm pretty excited that they're on the ball all right I haven't eaten I haven't had any coffee I haven't done anything I'm kind of delirious that's it for now let's get some new tires and hopefully get rid of this freaking jiggling and the road noise all right kids that was pretty quick it I think it took longer for us to fix the transactions than it actually did to have the tires put on i'm just gonna go this way there's too much traffic so yeah that was really quick and awesome those guys are fantastic and they agree with me don't let toyota deal with the tires anymore because everything they do is free so i'm gonna go back there i'm gonna have them rotating everything and make sure they're checking stuff and 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 all the air pressures and blah blah blah, blah because how the hell did those tires i had get so messed up with such wildly different air pressures so on and so forth but whatever I got brand new Michelin tires that are now made for more highway driving. So hopefully the noise and all that jiggling shit should go away, at least for a while, right? Yay. Okay. I am like freaking starved. I'm going to go pick up some packages first though, because I want to and I'm out anyway. So I might as well just go ahead and do it. I thought about going somewhere and getting something to eat, but... I got other shit to do, so I'm just going to go home. Um, we've got food at home, and I'm going to eat and get into my day because I'm already getting emails for day job that require my attention. So, yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> okay, I just had to interject here. There is absolutely no road noise. It, it's crazy. I can hear the wind going over the shitty thin windows, but I cannot hear, like, the tires. Even just driving down my normal roads and I'm going 40 miles an hour. It's amazing. I guess I'm a geek. Even getting new tires is exciting for me. I've always loved to get new tires because they're just, ever the ride becomes so smooth and it's so quiet. Oh, happy monkey, happy monkey. All right, kids, another eventful day. I've been sitting in the office legitimately all day doing the day job stuff, like a good little worker. And you know, I mean, I'm doing what I'm doing. Nothing new there, nothing exciting, no complaints. I have needed to take my shower head off and see if I can clean it because I think that it's just so filled, you know, calcified, whatever, scum, that it there's like no water pressure. It's pathetic. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm getting a new shower head. So I just went to Target and I bought a shower head. And then I was like, hey, wait a minute. I don't have any keto chocolate peanut butter bars because now she's eating them too. So, you know, two a night almost. And we went through them all. And I was like, hey, I'll get that. And then I'm like, mm, yeah, you know what? I think I remembered yesterday that I ran out of, out of uh, laundry detergent. I'll get that. So for a change, I went to Target to get one thing, ended up getting, well, ended up being four things that I needed to get that I got. And I'm like, hey, that's a win. Today is all full of win. I have been filming almost exclusively with this Insta360 RS since I came up with this whole contraption in here. Don't get me wrong, it works great in here. It, in fact, it's the perfect setup for in here. And it's taken me a long time and a lot of different cameras and a lot of different setups to get it to this point. I dig it, but I really like filming on my a7 IV. So I think I am going to put the 14 millimeter G Master on that bitch. And tomorrow, all day, I'm going to film on that camera rather than this. Now, I know this is messed up of me, but I'm almost tempted to remount that one Velcroed setup that I had here so that I can slide the a7 IV into the mechanism and film with that camera. It's going to be too heavy if I use anything other than that 14 millimeter. I'm going to play with that and see what I come up with. I'm going to leave this here, though, and I'm going to film it because I never film what I'm doing. I just tell you about it, and you're supposed to show, not tell. Okay, this isn't going to last too long because my transmitter is, is out of juice. But what I'm doing right now is I'm heating up the sticky 
spot on this Velcro just to try to get it to be a little bit more uh, sticky. And I found that that seems to do the trick. Let's see if this has even a remote possibility of working. Okay, so here's what I've done. I re-adhered all the gorilla shit and the Velcro and stuff that needs to go and stick to that. Now this USB-C cable can actually plug in here and power the camera if it needs to. And it's all pretty big. And I don't think that I would use it all the time, but let's see what kind of a picture we get. Oh, look at that. It's glorious. Look at how much is in there. Okay, so I don't know if this is getting audio or not. I might have to listen to it. If it isn't, I'll have to reshoot the ending. But there you see it. I was able to put that little contraption back up here and, and Velcro it down to the dashboard. Not the best solution. But, you know, other than the RS, what is the best solution, you know? So I have that all down there. It didn't take me that long. What took me the longest was I was like, ooh, shiny red ball. And I went up and I installed my new shower head. So that, that's up there and done. As you can see, I'm going in 50 different directions at once. So, ooh, 555, make a wish. Huh? See, I'm all over the place. That's what happens when you lose 13 pounds and you have a shit ton of energy because it's not wasted on trying to digest all the garbage you're eating. All right, see, 50 different directions at once. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna stop because I'm torturing you. That's all I've got for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.